My name is Kevin Eubanks and I'm here because I'm lucky and I love all the people that are into the industry that contribute to make this whole thing keep growing and growing. So I'm happy to be here. I'm glad to contribute. I feel like I'm from being here, it just feels, I don't know, it feels like it's something that you should be a part of. I'm glad to be invited. It was um, very open and it was never pushing you to do something, you know, you, after a while, you just start being yourself and that's when the real interview, it feels like it anyway that once you start to uh, feel relaxed and um, when you're talking about it you feel like the contribution from everybody else you start to learn from it you feel from it and you start to feel like you can give something back to it because it all grows and I don't mean it in a cl cliche way um, because sometimes you take things for granted but then when you start really thinking about all the things you've watched, I mean, from back in the day, I love movies all the way back from, from now. You can, you can go online and see things from even before the 30s when it, was, when it was, you know, you couldn't even hear anything, you know. You, but as everything moved forward and forward and forward and forward, I've just always loved that. And then music that comes with it. So you start really reminiscing about a whole lot of things, but it's not reminiscing, it becomes the same things that are happening today. So it makes you start to feel that you're really talking out loud when you're doing those kind of interviews. I always felt like we were doing a show, and uh, because I was so used to, before the Tonight Show, I was, always, I was used to traveling, playing, you know, in Europe, in the Middle East, in the States, Canada, wherever. Um, I did a long career in music, so when I'm on stage, even in The Tonight Show, I get to play with B.B. King, Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, with wh whoever came in. So to me, it was just a show. And I never thought about it being a late night thing. It was just, we had a wonderful stage. I was learning a lot from Jay and getting the rhythm of comedy. And when you're on the road for lots of years, comedy is part of traveling, you know. So we kind of got along great doing that because it just flows that way. So I never thought of it as a, a late night show because when we did it, it was in the afternoon. So we just had fun. We had some energy when we, you know, just get deeper and deeper into it. So I never thought of it as a late night show, but obviously it's where, you know, that's the time of where it came on, but it felt like it was a lot of energy. And you meet all of the uh, politicians and uh, Senator McCain, we would talk every time that he would come to the show and his aide would say, um, the Senator is waiting for you. So I would go to his room and we talk about, we talk about college basketball. He loved, you know, so I would, whenever I knew <laughs> John was coming on, <laughs> I would look up college basketball, so I'd have something. And I think about by the fifth time, I said, Senator, he says, you better call me John. <laughs> you know, I said, okay, I, um, I don't know that much about college basketball. He goes, I know. <laughs> I know, but I really appreciate what you were going through to try it, <laughs> you know. And we just started talking about things, and you start meeting people. I sat with uh, George Bush Jr. We were in makeup for like 30 minutes. Usually they'll kick you out of makeup, but nobody was telling him to get out. So we just talked about traveling and, and things like that. It didn't feel like it was talking to politicians all the time. And uh, Barack Obama came on, and um, I, you know I'm not really a suit guy, until he said, well, Kevin, you look pretty good in a suit. You look good, you know. My mom's calling me, my friends are calling me, everybody, you know. So you get, a, you know, where else do you get to do all of that? You know, so a lot of it is just a lot of fun. But at the same time, you want to keep some energy going out. You want the show 
to keep going in and you want to bring people in. So it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. There's a few of them, but not during the show. It was talking to them after the show. Um, talking with Ed McMahon and Don Rickles, um, Arsenio Hall. It, it, it was, that's, sit, that's backstage. Or, and then you get to become friends with people. And then if you need anything, if something is bothering you, something you don't understand about all of this, give me a call. And I would. And then they would walk me through it and they would say, don't take anything personal. You know, contribute to what's happening. Bring everybody together. And uh, so those things happen. There's the people that you meet on the show, but the things that I learned from them is off the show. It makes me feel like I contributed something to all of this amazing things that happens. And I'm such a movie buff, television buff since I was a kid. That was my punishment when I was a kid. You can't watch TV, you're not going to the movies. And, and all the music that goes with the, you know, and a lot of the movies that I listen to, how people can, you know, write, compose things for that, how it helps with what's on the screen, that it's just a wonderful thing. And, and then after a while you become a part of it, it's a wonderful thing, you know, you're happy about it. You, you're not just watching it, you're while you feel like you contribute to it. And when you do an interview on a level like this, you feel like, wow, really doing something that, that, that matters. I was really more into movies. So I always love watching Sidney Poitier in the movies. And I also, Betty Davis. And I loved it, you know, really, I'm really, uh, um, now they call it Turner Classic Movie, things like that. But to me, that was just another movie, another movie, and all of that, I really like that, you know, and uh, I still do. <laughs> so there, those are my two that I always, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Music, uh, um, and this is not cliche, my mother's music, she's a master's degree in music, so my mom got me into it and kept me doing it and kept playing, and then I, so I got a little, you know, then I started actually seeing people that I, you know, really love, B.B. King, George Benson, you know, Diana Ross. <laughs> there's a long, there's a funny story, Diana Ross, but I can't go through it now. But. And people like that, and you start seeing people, Nancy Wilson, you start seeing people that, um, that inspire you to continue to practice and to try and get a certain level musically. So all of that is just, just wonderful, the people that you, you know. And then uh, when I was asked to come to Late Night for the music part of it, and that was wonderful, I get to play with everybody from... Uh, Willie Nelson from the Dolly Parton, to, you know, Clint Black, all, all these people that is, so everything just moves and moves and into the next thing. And then I, you know, start understanding comedy a lot more because I've been hanging out with Jay, working with Jay, watching him do his thing, all that is wonderful and uh, just great to, to meet all of these, all of these people, you know, people like, Arsenio Hall when he had his show when I was a kid and watching that and help open doors for things like that. So knowing people like, you know, you know, professional comedians like that with Jay and people like that is, it's just wonderful. I just feel really fortunate.